Good morning again, boys and girls. How are you today? Today our lesson is about the shapes. But uh, now you already know the all shapes, the whole shapes, you know them. This is rectangle. This is square. And this is triangle. And this is... Um, Pentagon or hexagon? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six for hex. Six sides, so hexagon. Okay. I want you now to use, uh, to cut some squares and uh, make them small squares and uh, some triangles and also make them, make them small triangles and to start covering these big shapes okay for me i also cut some okay and but i will draw them for you now i i draw some squares and i put one square here okay and the other square here and the third one is here and the fourth one was here so uh, one square two squares three squares and uh, four squares so here are four squares okay four squares and one whole square now i cut another uh two triangles they were small i put one triangle here okay and uh, the other one was here i will just show you in different color okay this was the second triangle for me uh, rectangle for me please sorry so one right uh, rectangle here and the second one here so it was two rectangles uh triangles oh sorry it's two rectangles rectangles two rectangles now uh here i used Actually, for me, I used one triangle. I cut it exactly uh, the same size. Okay, so it was one triangle I used. Then I used here trapezoids. Uh, I used here trapezoids. I put one trapezoid here. This is the first trapezoid. And I put the second trapezoid here. I'll show you this is the second trapezoid okay so now here I have two trapezoids are equal okay so here I have four squares four equal squares here two equals rectangles here one whole triangle and here I have two equal trapezoids okay now, we're done from page 777. Uh, this page showed me the parts I can use, okay? Here I used four squares as parts, okay? Four parts of the squares. I put them to make one whole square, one big square. Here I used two parts of rectangle and um, put them together. I connect them together to make a whole of rectangle. Here was one triangle and here two equal and two parts of trapezoids. I put them, connect them together to make one hexagon. Okay, now let's go to the next page. Let's go here. Okay. Now my lovely students, hold your pencil. And the starter, please, following me, okay? You can partition. What's the meaning of partition? You can separate. So partition means separate or cut or, um, or what? Partition, separate or cut, okay? shapes into equal parts let's see two equal parts two equal parts that means two halves 
each part is a half of the whole. So one half with F, two halves with V E S. You cross out the F and you replace it by V E S to make them plural. Okay? So one half and two halves of the whole. Okay? So look at the figures here. I have a circle. If I cut the circle into two parts, it's going to be two halves. Look at the square, two equal parts. I'm going to make two halves. Now, the second sentence. Three, so we talked about two. Now, three equal parts or three thirds or three thirds each part is a third of a whole okay each part is a third of a whole okay now let us see here i have one two three can you look at the parts look at them are they all or equal are they all equal yes they are all equal look at the square next to it one two three so three equal 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 i said equal three times three equal parts we say thirds each one part we call it a third of a whole it's a third great now look at the third sentence Four, now we will talk about the four equal parts or four fourths. Four fourths. So we learned halves for two parts, for two equal parts. Thirds for three equal parts. And now fourths for four equal parts. Each part is a fourth, is a fourth so it's a fourth of the whole it's a fourth of the whole this is a fourth 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 see how many parts for the circle it has four equal parts so four fourths we put s for the plural four fourths one fourth four fourths okay now all the sentences they are all containing a word of equal see here equal we put it in a heart equal in a heart and equal last sentence okay only one thing makes half third and fourth if the parts were equal if the parts were not equal that means i'm not gonna have half i'm not gonna have thirds i'm not gonna have fourths. the only reason that makes the parts like halves thirds and fourths if the parts were equal to each other. Great job. Now, go to the exercise down. Describe the equal parts. Write two halves or three thirds or four fourths. Two halves for two equal parts. One half, two halves. One half, and this is two halves so i can say one and two so what do we choose it's two halves i will write two halves please write it smaller in a small handwriting so it can fit okay now two halves let's count the other parts Let's count the second question. Yeah, one, two, three, and four. 
What is this now? It is four fourths. So four. You just copy it from the question. Four fourths. Four. And then the S for the plural. Four fourths. Now let's count the second, the third question. One, two, and the three. So this is three. Thirds. Third and the S for the plural. Okay, thirds. Now, let's count the other one. One, two, three. So it's again three thirds. I know your handwriting will be better and nicer because. You're amazing for me. Your handwriting also is amazing. Your handwriting is also amazing for me. Now, the last question. Draw lines to partition. What's the meaning of partition? We said up to separate. Partition and separate means just to draw a line. Okay, make parts, to make parts. Now, draw lines to partition each shape. Please remember, partitions, partition means to make parts, to separate them. Now we need to read the instructions under the shape. Two equal parts. So I can decide to draw lines horizontally or, uh, or, or not and, or, I can draw it vertically from up to down to make half. And remember, make the two parts equal. Don't make one bigger than the other. Okay, now I cut it or I separated or I partitioned it into two parts. Two equal parts. Okay, now here they said I need to partition this shape into four equal how can I make it for equal parts by drawing line vertically and other line horizontally please 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 use rulers to draw the lines now let's make sure that I did partition it I did partition this shape into four parts one two three and four so it's correct put for me and for you a big big star thank you so much now move to the second page next one 779 okay now here in the first question you need to describe the equal parts and then write two halves or three thirds or four fourths. You need first to count the parts, then you decide, did you count two or three parts or four parts? Then choose from the questions up. The second question is saying, draw lines to partition each shape. In this question, as we did together, you need to read the instruction under the shape, okay? Now, the third question, partition the shape in different way. Show the same number of equal parts. Okay, you are so smart. I told you in this question, you can separate it or partition it vertically or horizontally. Okay, guys, now go to page 780 to solve together last question. Okay, I will solve with you question 17, and by yourself, you can solve question 18. Ava's mom bought a pizza. Ava ate one equal part. Her friend ate one equal part. 
there was one equal part left for Ava's mom. How much of the pizza was left for Ava's mom? Again, Ava's mom bought a pizza. Ava ate one equal part. Her friend ate one equal part. There was one equal part left for Ava's mom. How much of the pizza was left for Ava's mom? Now, I will draw a pizza. A pizza is a circle. Okay. Then I will separate it or partition it into three. One for Eva. This is Eva's part. Eva. Eva's part. And this is for her friend. Friend. Okay, a for friend. And this is for her mom. Now, I want you to remember how many how many parts did did you see? How many parts can you see here? I'll change the color to count the parts. One part for Eva. Second part for her friend. And the third one, the third one is for her mom. So how many or how much of the pizza was left for Eva's mom? We can say this one was left. So we say a third or we can say one third. You can say a third or we can say one third. One or a third of the pizza. Excellent, excellent work. Please solve question number 18. Try to solve the rest of the page alone. We're done from page 780. Don't forget to send me all your work. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all.